What is going on, lunatics? Guys, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of repegging, I will fear no lack of repeg because repeg is with me. I want to say, I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go. Listen, uh, we're going to talk about the repeg theory from Ceramic that came out after yesterday's video. We're going to break it down for you. And, uh, you know, maybe then we'll have at least a better idea of what's going to happen. There have been some revisions. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. All right. Uh, also, 30% more screen. So uh, the first thing up is the update white paper V3. Number one, US, these are the main changes from the previous. USTC will be converted to UST instead of USTY. Model of UST price post swap showing path to $1. An additional paragraph in the introduction explains how Terra Classic should coordinate with the ecosystem. So, several people have suggested that a new USTC could become not just a core token for Terra Classic, but also a standard unit of account across the Cosmos SDK ecosystem. Now, the important thing to remember that we are um, removing a lot of the hooks that were in um, and and variables that had uh, turned Luna Classic into something just more difficult. The Cosmos SDK straight out of the box now works. So this has eased us into that ecosystem a little bit more because we previously had just kind of uh, added so much in that you had to pay somebody every single time Cosmos came out with an upgrade to upgrade that to make it fit Luna Classic. Well, you don't have to do that now. So this is a good idea as more apps uh, that adopt a relaunched USTC means faster growth in CMM collateral and thus a faster repeg to UST. Uh, speedier burning of Luna Classic and a higher yield to validators in the form of USTC mints. Please get in touch with Ceramic at GitHub if you know other dApps or chains that want to participate. In parallel with the Commonwealth discussion, we need to start thinking about assembling a developer team to work with Ceramic to implement his plan. Ceramic has other commitments, so he will not have to take time as the project manager. With this in mind, the team would need a developer who deeply understands Cosmos SDK and is prepared to lead. Ceramic would be available to provide them with the research and knowledge of for the economic design and modify it if needed to meet their technical needs. A blockchain developer is a very lucrative career path, um, but we don't need to go over that. Uh, there is a cross-disciplinary miscommunication issue. Most, if not all, of the developers in Lunk have an engineering or computer science background. Ceramics background is about 50-50 science between uh, uh, science and liberal arts. Uh, Ceramic intentionally wrote the CMM paper as a social science paper rather than a compact one. For example, wave theory. Ceramic is not opposed to it because in economics there's a lot of iterative game theory. And in fact, one of the papers he cites uses an iterative mathematical model to model, model oh my God, uh, to, pr to prove certain aspects of Bitcoin price. By the way, guys, I my, you know I had my teeth done just a couple of days ago, so just bear with me on this. It's going to take me a few days before I can talk normal again. I had wisdom teeth removed. Oh. Also, based on the feedback I've seen, people that should know better look at his white paper and see bullshit with spreadsheet math, not understanding it has a solid grounding in economics theory. So even though it's simple, it's more likely to work because it's based on the correct set of facts. Even developers who don't have the knowledge to evaluate it dismiss it. They even comment on the formatting and citations because they are done differently. I hope the Commonwealth discussion will be more than you are wrong and that it won't work. So now, uh, November 27 is when we're going to have the theory white paper complete. So from now on, I plan to post weekly updates today. Any other dates will be just a guess. Too many variables accompany the holiday season. So in five days, uh, we're going to get the uh, completed theory white paper, and then we'll be able to really kind of talk about what that next step is going forward and what it would look like more broadly. So uh, this is a, a great opportunity right now, and pro probably one of your last opportunities based on the way the market is moving for an accumulation. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know that are not in the United States, next week on Thursday, we celebrate a uh, thing called Thanksgiving. Uh, that's where we, you know, beat up and murder Indians or whatever it is that, you know, made Thanksgiving so famous in the United States. I have no idea. It's a wild holiday, wild holiday. Uh, but we call it sharing 
All right, so uh, let's look at the price action. So I, I want to get you guys prepared for what is about to happen. Now, uh, you zoom out here and you're feeling really good about it, but let's go back over here. I want to show you something that happened in 2020. Now, uh, this is the way Bitcoin is running right now, just having a nice little run. But we go back to 2020 and we come to this little range right here. And this will all make sense in just one second. I don't mean to be talking about a different pr project, but we zoom out here and we look at this, um, uh, all of this happening right there. Okay, so um, if you guys notice, I'm going to highlight it right there. Thursday, November 26, 2020, that was Thanksgiving. And what do you see here? You see a high of 18,911 and a low of 16,210, which means that we had a wild over 10% move on uh, a Christmas day, G gigantic, or um, on Thanksgiving day, just a gigantic and massive move. And we also wicked out and topped out on the Wednesday before that, but we bottomed on Thursday and then boom, it started to build and started to build and started to build, which created over that from Wednesday to Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, a double top uh, that gave us, uh, it, the, and by the way, it was a bearish divergence. You can see that right there. You were getting trapped in the, the you know, uh, investors were trying to trap people into Bitcoin, but it turns out the bulls were winning anyway, and it just absolutely exploded a couple days later. Now, I'm going to suspect the same thing happens, but let's look at it from a total three. Total three is where we get our information for um, our project. And if we come back over here, then... Uh, then we see what happened over here around that same time. Now, this one is the total three. Total three basically means uh, the market without Bitcoin and Ethereum calculated in. And you can see exactly what happened over here. Also, again, Thursday, November 6th, that's the biggest candle. The market cap, the overall total market cap went from a high of $144 billion down to a low of $113 billion. Again, gigantic gigantic swing that's a 12 and a half percent dump at maximum on a single day so get ready next week for a little bit of a dump and then if you look at this get some sideways action going and then prepare around christmas for another dump uh some sideways action from now until maybe get a little spike by the way uh if we look at it from this context the big spike was tuesday so we've got today friday then we have saturday sunday monday maybe tuesday five more days of pump before we go sideways again with a little bit of sell-off and and a little move back and forth around here and then we get into the end of the year and then this is when the bull run kicks off like right here okay so now let's apply that to luna classic and then let's just kind of look and and you know what if uh, what if this market does what it was supposed to do uh, at, at the end of this year? Okay, so we look at that from this perspective here, and we see here that it went up 8x on average in the market from December till May. An average for altcoins of an 8x. Now, let's apply that 8x to Luna Classic. Well, if we do that, again, just giving you an idea here, um, on average, we're going to go up 8x. Well, what would 8x look like? I'm going to have to zoom out just a little bit to give you guys that look, right? So uh, from where we are right now, which is 11 uh, right here, 8x would look like this right here. So we would drop a zero is basically what would end up happening here. We'd be at two zeros one. Would you like to see two zeros one? Because that's what you're probably going to see at a minimum. Remember, this is an 8x average which means that some of these some projects are going to go 20 30 40x some of them not so much luna classic is a uh, vibrant community uh, if not yet thriving it is still active and there are a lot of people building on it so stands to reason that it's going to have a pretty good pump it's not on the quote-unquote death throes anymore it's it advanced itself to that quote-unquote come up role so uh that drops to zero it's a very big move right there. So uh, I would think that we're going to have just a, a really, really big move coming up very, very soon. Now, uh, as you've seen here, I've drawn this out that we're still going to have some upward mobility. Uh, and I do still think that what we're going to get in the next couple of days. Um, and, you know, look, I, I mean, it's all guesswork, right? But I think over the next couple of days, here's what you're going to see. 
you're going to see um, we had a breakout from the descending channel one more time. I'll show you what that looks like right there. You can see we had the Donald Trump has won the 2024 election and will be your president, the first pro crypto president. Bitcoin currently trading at around $87,000. This is the ideal moment for effective management of your own investment portfolio. Since 2019, Cryptonomy has experienced exponential and substantial growth with revenue closing near 2.4 billion euros and insurance coverage of up to 6.1 billion on all company assets. Now, listen, guys, the big move here for me in my fixed staking pool, I'm going to go all in on a little bit more XRP. I've got 5,900 XRP right now. I'm going to go into the nine month for 71% return. We're going to continue. We stayed close to 6,000 XRP just now with a 71.8% return over nine months. This launch pool is blowing up. As you can see right here, open serve just went 7X. We're getting a significant yield off of that. We got 1.9 on Satoshi Dex. We had a 2.58 on Tap Protocol, 2.1 on Talent, 3.1 on Cross. All right, guys, we're going 10 Ethereum into a bronze tier contract end date November 12, 2025. I expect to make a return of at least a decent amount, 50% profit sharing. When we got that last one, it was 7X. So I'm gonna assume here that this is gonna be a real good play. If you haven't already, don't forget myself, Dean DCA, Clip, Lift Capital, Aaron Burke, we're all doing articles uh, for this organization. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about cryptocurrency, then this is the place to go. You wanna go to cryptonomy.finance slash research. Also, if you haven't already, sign up for their Telegram. The links are in the descriptions down below. And in the next two weeks, there's gonna be a couple of big updates brought to you by all of us regarding cryptonomy.finance. Start investing now. Breakout and the 50 is starting to push upwards. Uh, so back to the daily. What I think is getting ready to happen is this. I think we're gonna uh, wick up here. Now I don't know if we get into it, but boom, right here. And then we should come into that range right there. Uh, the, that is a question, by the way. Uh, we should go back into this. This is a comfort zone, if you will, over the next couple of days. Just boom, 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 boom. Uh, we come up into this little range right here. Um, and then if we do that successfully, then that range bound kind of sideways action should happen right in this range right here. If that is to happen, then that's going to be a good sign, by the way. That would be a really good sign for the broader market and for Luna Classic when the actual breakout happens. And then we get to January and things just absolutely start to explode and we come up here and we do that all-time high test, uh, local all-time high test. And then uh, we start to drop that extra zero, get down to two zeros instead of three zeros. That looks to be the next move. So that's what it looks like more broadly when you're trying to figure out what's going to happen. And look, I'm as bullish as anybody gets, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm a bull. But we do have to recognize that not everybody's a bull and we do have to account for people who are not bulls. So bears will have their success. I think it comes around Thanksgiving. Then I think it comes around uh, Christmas time. Again, <clears throat> we're going to see two more dips before just the big time explosion. So manage your portfolio according to that. Now, you might notice a few things. Let's look around here. BLV Labs, not going to pass. Um, meme Coins, still holding up pretty well, but just not really thriving, not really moving too much right now. This is a Bitcoin market, and there's a few alts. There's things like XRP starting to take off really good. Arbitrum starting to take off pretty good. HBAR, but it's very limited, okay? So when you see these the, the money coming into the market, capital pouring in, and you're wondering why is Luna Classic not pumping to the moon? Well, the answer to that is because it's still a Bitcoin market until we get an altcoin season, until people start taking profit on Bitcoin, presumably at 100,000, that's when we would see like a test pump, if you will. So Bitcoin went to 99,466. Um, we're waiting for that $100,000 breakout. And if we get that $100,000 breakout, then um, it, it's going to be <coughs> a lot of the alts and stuff like that are going to be a better position. So um, uh, we'll, we'll get that move down the the liquidity fall the, the uh, trickle down economics basically uh we're gonna get a lot of people selling off their bitcoin and they're gonna start buying alts because they know what's getting ready to happen and we'll start to see a, a lot of altcoins start to spring out but as you look at it going down this list right now you know you have um, cardano up another 10 percent today and nothing else uh xlm Double digits, XRP, double digits. Tars AI, a project that I'm in, I'm involved in on the side. Um, that one uh, having a little bit of a pump today, but you know that's not a major altcoin. That's just something from the Solana Foundation. But um, 
you know, these things are, that's it. That's the only things that are really, really ripping. Adam up 8%, Avalanche up 6%. But you can see here, there's not just an explosive sort of move for all altcoins. So we will see a breakout. We're just not at the spot right now where Bitcoin profits are being dumped into the rest of the broader market. But we will get there and we will see it happen. So uh, watch for that to, to take, a, take, take place. Now, volume is up 92% on the day. And look at this down here, Binance is one of the big beneficiaries of that increased volume, which is a pretty good sign. If we can continue to do that, uh, and we can continue to see that kind of progress happening, then uh, that would be a very good uh, indicator of high levels of burn coming very, very soon from Binance. So uh, we want to see that volume continue to pump and continue to increase, and that'd be a good thing to see. Now, also, USTC, same thing, 181% volume increase. Would like to see some burns with that because... I'm going to go to stake bin in just a second and show you. Not a lot of burning, uh, but Binance is where the trade volume is. Uh, stake bin, you can see here, like we had only had 31 million burn yesterday, 47 million the day before. We had 33 so far today, but USTC, just very nominal amount, 60,000 on one day. Uh, just not, not huge, not huge amounts at all. But um, overall, over the last seven days, 409 million for US, for, for Luna Classic. And that repeg, that repeg is what matters the most. So uh, let's wrap this up in a pretty little bow. Nothing really on Commonwealth new discussion wise, but Terra Casino, uh, 2 million euros. They're giving it away. Guys, you, you got to take part of it. And you can play Rich Wild and, and the Pearls of Vishnu right now uh, through Terra Casino and Play and Go. Uh, and then you know what you can use. You can use XRP. Go go use your XRP. You're making tons of money off of XRP right now. Go use it to wager yourself a little bit on Terra Casino. And then uh, I'm 9131 is my average on Terra. I may not make it at this point i know i have over ten thousand um and i've been holding on to ten thousand for a while so um i don't know uh but anyway uh go to terraport.finance if you are looking for uh some meme coins and look we should all be looking guys there's there's two thousand three thousand people that watch these videos every day there's no reason why you shouldn't have some rocket meme coin there's there's no reason you shouldn't have juris which will eventually be uh the lending protocol if juris is the lending protocol like you would be crazy not to be holding on to a bag i, I can't um, I, I can't even imagine that you wouldn't want to. And then there's B Lunk, which I assume is Bleeves Lunk. I think they named it after me. I don't know what they did, but you know. Uh, then you've got Hamster Mean, you've got Cookie, you've got Cat with Hat, uh, you've got Pizza Boy, um, you've got the boys around here somewhere. Actually, it might be the boys Lunk for all I know. Anyway, um, so, and Garuda X, Frag. Uh, Terra, Osmo, plenty of different opportunities over here for you to do some trading. All you have to do is just buy some of these, hold on to some of these, and guess what? Some of them are going to absolutely explode, especially when we get notif noti when we get UST instead of USTC, and we get a stable coin repeg, and we're actually working towards that, and we're starting to see burn after burn after burn after burn, and Luna Classic value is starting to soar, then these are going to be the optimal things to have. Remember what happened a few months ago with Tron? Remember what happened a few a year ago with Avalanche? and when Solana broke out, uh, now Solana is trading at $260 today, something like that. You know, ridiculously high numbers. The same thing's going to happen to Luna Classic. People are going to find these and you're going to just, you're going to get the first early ones are going to be a thousand X and you can't do anything about it. Just if you have a bag of it, it's going to just absolutely pump, 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 pump to the moon. You know what I mean? So uh, if you don't have any, it's going to be on you, but, um, I've been telling you all this time, everybody's been telling you all this time, it's worth putting 50 bucks into each and every one of these little meme coins here. Um, and, you know, if you want to go over them, by the way, we'll go over them on Monday, but put 50 bucks in each one of these just to make sure that just in case one of them explodes, that you are part of it and that your life has changed, you know? So that's on, that's on you. Um, you let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right. That repeg is coming and it's going to uh, blow your doors off.